I've been task locked for five years straight now, but all of that changes today. I will be working towards collection logs more freely and getting max total more actively. And in today's episode, I'll be starting off the first grinds with the new content on Varlamore. But first, it's time to see if we get lucky with some evil chicken pieces from the bird eggs that I've collected. The collection log. All right, it's been a while since we collected our miscellanea. I feel like there's gonna be quite some rewards in here. So let's see what we get. Oh, that's not even that much. I mean, that's all right. <laughs> this has to be like, wait, did I actually check this already? Not too long ago? I don't know, but I guess we get five extra bird eggs to open. Uh, we have over 600 that we're gonna offer in a bit. Hopefully we'll get like one evil chicken piece. That would be nice. It is time to finally loot all of the eggs that I collected from forestry back when we could still go for end calls. Unfortunately, that's not possible anymore, but hey, we got a decent amount of eggs. I think it's one in one in 300 for any piece, right? So we, we are expecting two pieces, right? Let's see how it plays out. Let's start with the green ones, because I like Guthix the least, and I'll end with Zemarek. We'll do, we'll do Guthix, Sarah, and then Zemi. Oh, there it is! Yes, evil chicken wings! The first piece has been obtained. Oh, look at it. It's actually so nice. Oh, how much is that? 222 offerings. 222, Trout Gang, once again. Prevails. Beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. Look at it. That looks amazing. And I guess, you know, I'm not doing tasks, but I may as well still keep track of everything I get, right? So this would count as a miscellaneous log slot so let me just go ahead and mark one of those as completed that way we can still track our percentage progression i suppose 14 percent master all right let's see if we get another one i'm very happy with one piece already but like i said we should be expecting at least two so uh would be nice to get a second piece as well actually got the legs no way i was like i need legs to go along with it but i didn't have any anything cool in my bank but i guess the legs will do Woo! look at that that is fashion right there baby we like that and we're still only halfway with the uh with the eggs so who knows what might happen imagine if we actually get the full set that would be insane i don't think that's gonna happen right we'll probably get a duplicate if anything now but i mean just imagine if we get the head or the feet as well Lovely. I guess we'll bark another one. It's completed real quick. Screw it. When we can, we may as well. Miscellaneous log slot. Ding. Maybe one more. actually get the head as well dude what the hell <laughs> that's so good oh my god we have three out of four in 693 offerings now oh my god dude imagine imagine we get the feet if there's a god <laughs> if there's a god nah surely not there's no way we get the feet as well i mean i still have a few eggs left not that many like 50 or so i'm not sure but just imagine we get the feed as well, dude. That would be crazy. That would be insane. And we'll mark another one completed. There's only one miscellaneous log slot left because I never expected to get like this many evil chicken pieces for these tasks. But I will take it. Show me them feetsies. All right, there we have it. All eggs are used. 749 offerings with three out of four pieces. I am very happy with that outcome. I'm definitely not going to complain about that. Maybe one day we'll get the feed as well, but it might never happen. Anyways, looks like it's time to go ahead and explore Varlamore now. Let's go do the first quest and then we're going to do all of the others once we reach the continent. 
All right, Children of the Sun completed. Now we have access to Varlamor. Time to go there and explore and do the other quests as well. All right, there we go. That's the frog quest completed. That was a pretty fun little quest. Let's move on to the next one. Second quest completed, Twilight's Promise. And with this one done, we can now also use the Civitas Illa Fortis teleport. So that's going to teleport us straight over here, which is something that's definitely going to be used for later on as well. At first light completed as well, and now we're down to the final quest, Perilous Moons, which is going to introduce us to the new bosses as well. I think this is the end of the quest, right? I've killed all the three bosses for the first time. And there's Perilous Moons completed. 40,000 Slayer XP, quite a bit. Not too relevant for us though. Now, where do I get to the loot? How does that work? <laughs> Here we are, at the Lunar Chest. Do we get something straight away, just from the ones we've killed during the quest? First KC clog? Oh yeah, of course, yeah, the, the fucking darts. <laughs> I forgot about those. I was like, whoa, I got something! It's the darts, that's fine. Sunkissed bones, I'm not sure what those do just yet, but... Some soft clay, swamp tar, and water orbs. Very, very interesting. We'll definitely start grinding this a bit as well later, but... First, I want to try out the hunter contracts as well i think and maybe even set foot in the Colosseum. but with that being said we now have full quest points again 308 out of 308 i guess at some point i'll, I'll do all the mini quests as well because i may as well but we'll leave that until later i also should have oh wait what is this christmas event and this one is the Colosseum. yeah so once we enter the Colosseum, we have our music cape again as well just not trimmed because i kind of missed out on the last christmas of christmas event but that's fine Okay, so we can enter the Colosseum. I'm just gonna give it a crack, you know, get a quick log slot from like the, the splinters. Go north? I'm not doing the quest, brother. I've done the quests. Why is this guy backseating me in game? It's fine. But yeah, we can't use this bank chest yet because you need to get like a certain amount of glory, I believe, in order to unlock that one. I'm not sure how much it is, but we'll figure that out. We're just a rookie right now. Let's go to the bank, get a little setup going, see what we can do. Okay, this is gonna go very poorly, but we're just gonna give it a crack, shall we? I'm camping the t because I don't have a shadow. I think that might be the way to go. I've got a little bit of a switch going. Um, I don't know how anything is gonna go, man. I'm very scared, to be honest, but we'll, we'll just see what happens, you know? At least I'll be able to complete one wave. I'm, I'm probably just gonna claim the first wave to get, like, the splinters. And then after that, we'll see what happens. Yes, and don't ask again. Our rookie approaches. I think there's a mage spawning, right? So I'm probably gonna... Okay, so the modifiers. Let's see. Prayer is drained by 20% of damage received. Enemies never miss and hit an extra one damage. Maximum HP is reduced. I'm gonna go with that. Fuck it. Wave one complete, baby. Let's go. 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure that's a world record. I'm just gonna claim this for the clog, okay? And then we're, we'll go back in and go even further. There it is. Sunfire splinters obtained. Beautiful. Oh fuck, I forgot about this guy. Ah! <laughs> Wait, I killed the... I killed them too quickly last run. I forgot this guy still spawns as well. So if you do the way fast enough, you don't even get the reinforcements. Wait, why am I getting plus zero for speed bonus? Hello, I'm being super... <laughs> I'm speeding, trust. I'm, I'm going super fast. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna die now. I am 100% gonna die now. Wave 6. Wave 6. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm bashing. Ah! Dude, I did not... Fuck. Oh, fuck me. I'm... I ran into it again. Okay, what the, that? I forgot about the other guys coming... Dude, uh, uh, there's so much happening in this shit. Holy, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, God. I mean... We're not gonna get that quiver anytime soon. I'm gonna keep it real. But that's not bad. I mean, we got to wave 6 on our first actual attempt, right? And so now, with our glory, we have access to the bank. And we can also set our respawn point at Fortis. So that's cool. Personal best, 5,892. Global best is 32,000. We're not too far away from that. We're already challenger right now. That's pretty nice. Where do I get my stuff back? <laughs> The fee is only 62k right now, so that's not bad. I think it goes up once you've done a certain amount of waves. Also, look at that. Nice little update where your stuff gets automatically equipped. Kind of. That's nice. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's whatever. 
We gave it a good shot. <laughs> okay, one more try and then I'm gonna do something else. Then I, I wanna try out some other stuff. <laughs> I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I can't, I can't attack the bees. I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck me. That, that was too much. That was too much. Okay, that was too much. It's fine. <laughs> New PB. We made it to wave 7. 6,916. It's, it's fine. It kind of got fucked when I didn't realize that I didn't have my auto cast on and I started staff bashing the minion. <laughs> that didn't really help. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, next up, I want to give the hunting rumors a go. I'm currently 92 hunters, so I have access to the highest tier of rumors. So hopefully it won't be too bad. There's some locks for us to collect here as well. Some lock slots. Rumors completed zero. Let's give this a crack. Rumor master. I've heard rumors of a strange red salamander. All right. So I guess we'll have to go to the red salamanders. I don't know what the best setup is yet, but I'm just bringing some stuff that I think I might need and we'll see how it goes. I just got that one on the first... <laughs> the first salamander. I guess I was crashing this guy, but now I can already leave. And then later, if we completed a certain amount of rumors, we get the whistle, I believe, to get back here automatically. All right, let's see. What do we get? 5,800 hunter XP. We get a loot sack tier 3. That is a lot of stuff. I don't know how to manage my inventory for this at all. I just have way too much stuff on me. I just completed my second one, but apparently there's some meta where you can... Certain like you can pretty much block certain rumors by getting them assigned by the lower level hunters. So maybe we want to try and get pyre foxes and dashing cabbits blocked out because I feel like those are the worst two that you can get from the master rumors. So I think what I'm gonna do is do like lower level rumors until I can get those two blocked out. Yo, I've had these three teak trees here forever and I never checked their health because I felt like it went against my rules. It's time to get the farming pet. I'm not even wearing my farming outfit, but it's fine. Oh, so close. We'll get him next time. Okay, so this is good. Because now Pyrefox, I think, is blocked on this Adept. This one has another one. Don't really care about that. The Novice currently has Sunlight Antelope blocked. So now I go to Expert and I try to get Dashing Cabot blocked and maybe another one. And then from that point onwards, we just do Master Rumors. Got my first Quetzal feed as well. I think it's 10 of these to build a landing spot. So we want 40 of these in total to build the four different spots. I might just keep going until I have all of those. That might be a good goal right now for the contracts. Might take a bit of time, but it'll get us some good progress towards the log as well, hopefully. All right, there it is. 10 rumors done. So we can now claim a basic Quetzal whistle blueprint from Pitry atop the Hunter Guild tree. Gotta make sure to claim that one so you can use that to teleport back here. Gonna help us out a little bit. And I believe you can later on get other blueprints to upgrade it as well. A knife and one set of willow logs. And then I believe you have to charge it with meat as well. Basic Quetzal whistle obtained. Now we can check this. Zero charges. You can check the rumor. Dark cabin right now. You aren't charging the whistle. You feed the bird. Oh, I see. Cool. Gotcha. Okay, you know what? I'm tired of the expert ones. <laughs> ACVA. We're just gonna go ahead and do the master rumors now. I tried to get some other blocks, but I mean, right now I have Pyrefox and Sunlight Antelope blocked. And mainly the Pyrefox one is good enough, I reckon. So we're just gonna start doing some master rumors and see how that goes. I fancy hunting with you. Some rare chinchomp- some red chinchompas are good for me. Pet chance as well for the chins. I don't mind those. All right, this is going to be the 25th rumor completed, which I believe means I could now cook the low tier hunter meat. I don't know if I'll end up doing that a whole lot. Uh, I guess I get some meat from the from the loot sacks. I'm not necessarily keeping it from the things I'm hunting, but that's fine. 25 rumors, nothing yet to report on. But I've been doing this for over four hours now, and I'm getting over 100,000 Hunter XP per hour, so that's pretty decent if you ask me. Currently at 16 Quetzal feet as well out of the 40 that I'm looking for. Hey! Clogging! We got the Huntsman's Kit! The first log slot on the Hunter Guild log page. Let's go. Huntsman's Kit. And to be honest, I have no clue what this thing does, but I have it. Uh, you can put stuff in it. That's nice. I guess it's like a, a tackle box for Hunter. Up to 21 Quetzal feet as well. Halfway done. Oh! I got another clog! 
On 30 rumors! <laughs> we got the Guild Hunter headwear. Very nice. Look at that. Honestly, I don't even know what this outfit does, but I have one of the four pieces now. And that means two out of six clogs obtained. Nice. I already got a duplicate Huntsman's kit now. Just about five rumors later. Here we go, first level in a while. There's 93 Hunter, let's go. All right, there it is. The first time I get these new salamanders assigned in a rumor, the Teku salamander. After 36 rumors, we get that one. Okay, so here's the salamanders, but first I'm gonna build the first Quetzal landing site so we can start using that as well to get here. Definitely the most useful one, I think, out of the four you can build. So now we have a little Quetzal here as well. Let's hunt these new salamanders. I believe that every time you catch one of these, there's a chance to get the actual wieldable one. You don't get it every single time, like with the other salamanders, so... Let's see if we can get one of those. I don't know what the rate is. And I get the back-to-back -back as well, right after I get them for the first time. That's cool. Didn't get a big one yet. Apparently they're quite rare, so... I don't know if we'll end up getting one of those. Alright, that is 50 rumors completed. Now, I'm quickly gonna open these. I might have enough Quetzal feet. I just need five more to build all the things. If I do get five, I'm gonna call it there for now, as far as the rumors are concerned, and do some more later on. But let's see what we get from these three sacks. Any cloggies? We get two more feed. Not quite 30 yet. Okay, we're gonna continue a little bit longer. Hey, there it is. We have the 30 Quetzal feet. So in 56 total rumors, we have enough Quetzal feet to build all the landing sites. So we're gonna do that right now, and I think then it's time to do some Perilous Moons. With that being said, I just did like two and a half hours of these contracts again, and I got 155,000 XP per hour. So when you set up even better blocks, because I only have two things blocked right now, I think you can definitely achieve some pretty good XP rates doing these contracts. Alright, let's build this unbuilt landing side right here next to this huge skeleton. Might come in useful when part two releases. I don't know what's gonna be done on this uh, part of the map but i feel like there might be some interesting content here as well so maybe we'll be able to use the quetzal to get to that another one right here not too sure what the use of this one will be but there's a bird now next to an altar i suppose all right and there's the final landing site as well next to the Colosseum. we have all the quetzals at the ready we can travel everywhere now i guess it's time for some perilous moons let's get some clogs there as well Right now, just one of them with the bolts, but that doesn't really count, right? That's like bolt racks from Barrows. Let's get some actual uniques. Wait, this is harder than it looks. Hang on. <laughs> no, stop slipping. What? Okay, this is actually very awkward. I thought this would be fun. This is annoying. <laughs> Whoa, no way. I like how you can just send it to the bank as well. You can just get everything, bank all, and move on to the next kill. People have died here 86,000 times? What are you doing? I just realized something. I still have to mark the tasks as completed that I just did. Because yesterday I added the tasks to the plugin for the new Varlamor item. So I have like two Hunter Guild locks, the Splinters, and one unique from the uh, Perilous Moons as well, being the, the darts. I do still need to get these Sulfur Blades from the Naguas, which I'll definitely do while I'm here later. But first I want to get some uniques from the uh, the Perilous Moons itself. I think I want to go for like at least 50 kill count. It's 1 in 20 to get a unique, so surely by the time we hit 50 KC we'll have like 2 lock slot at least, right? Uh, we got one of these, and then the second Hunter Guild as well, and then hard we have the Splinters. There we go. Let's continue. Chest number 10 guys, this is it. Oh, it actually is as well, and it's the item I mentioned earlier. We get the blue moon chest plate. Let's go. First item from the perilous moons. The fuck are these? Wormling bones? Huh. First I've gotten those. Hey, there we go. The second item. Took a bit of time for that one. 36 chest, but... We get the blue moon spear, second unique before the 50kc, I'm happy with that. Two from the same set as well. Alright, here we go, chest number 50. And we do not get a third unique just yet, but that's fine. A little nice session done at the lunar chest in the perils of moon. Moons of peril, perilous moons, the moonius perolius. We did it, <laughs> we did 50 of them. It was pretty fun, I like this. Good content, good job Jagex. 
Good bosses. Now we're gonna do something else again. I happen to stumble upon these um, five caskets I have in the bank. I still have one of each clue as well that I'll probably do later on. I think what I want to do tomorrow is try out the thieving method in Fortis. Because apparently there's like a new thieving method with the uh, wealthy citizens that is like really good for easy clues. Currently I'm at 918 easy clues so this is going to put me to 920. I think I might want to go to a thousand easy clues with 80 caskets to open in one go. And then maybe I'll also do some medium hard clues to round those numbers up but we'll see. But let's see if we get anything from these five caskets real quick. Well, that was atrocious. Glad we've done that. But uh, <laughs> hopefully the next opening, if we get a bunch of easy cars, because that's going to be a bit better. Oh, I just realized I'm preparing some saplings to start doing some tree farm runs for an easy passive 99. But I think I didn't even mark the uh, two items I got yesterday from Perilous Moons. So let's mark two more for the uniques we got yesterday. Look at all these saplings I have, though. 239 magic saplings, 43 redwood, 95 dragon fruit, and 162 mahogany. I'm going for 99 farming. This is way more than that, but it's nice to see that I accumulated this many over time. All right, so we're going to try out the wealthy citizens. I'm also going to use my rogue outfit because they give these house keys that you can use for further thieving training inside of Fortis. So maybe it'll be helpful for some more thieving XP later on as well. Still have this easy clue in the bank, so we're going to start with that. But let's start stacking up 80 easy caskets so we can get to that 1000 milestone. And let's see if we can get any uniques from that. I just pickpocket an easy clue. I do one more pickpocket and I get the message you have a sneaking suspicion that you would have received an easy clue. You're taking the piss. <laughs> Wait, that makes sense. It's probably because of the outfit. It just says it when I get it because the outfit would give two. So now I haven't had that message for two clues in a row. So I think the first two were actually me getting another clue, like back to back. <laughs> oh well. Hey, look. A new clue step. Search the bookshelf in the basement of the Hunter Guild. Cool. Man, it feels so nice just sitting here AFK pickpocketing when the child, like, baits the wealthy citizen. Feels like leagues all over again. I'm getting way too many clues. I don't know how, but I just keep getting clues. They're supposed to be 1 in 100. But right now, I've already had 13 when I should only have 5. So I don't know if I'm just being lucky or if the rate is incorrect on the wiki right now, but I'll take it. So far, so good. So an hour into doing this, we've had 15 easy clue caskets, 118k coins, and also 62 of the house keys. So definitely want to check out those house keys later on as well, see what the thieving XP is like from those. All of a sudden, it's taken a while for the next clue, so maybe it is 1 in 100 and I was just getting lucky so far. Oh, another new step, an emote clue at the Fortis Grand Museum. Looks like we have to get some items for this one. Let's build another stash unit then. Okay, well, I'm dying and we're just gonna call it there. That was the end of the second hour pretty much and my luck has absolutely turned around. Didn't really get many clues at all. So I think we're just going back to hand members for the rest of these 80 caskets that I want to stack because this is starting to take way too long and I don't think it's very worth it. I'll try out the house keys later on, but I don't think the thieving XP from that is that great either. Granted, it's very AFK, but I think it's only like 100k XP per hour or something. So not the ideal thing, just more AFK, I suppose, if that's what you're into. What am I witnessing? What am I witnessing? This guy is fire striking with a Robin Hood hat, full blue dehyde, and what looks to be a bronze kite shield on, while using a cannon with a cabbage cape. Godspeed, Tom. Godspeed. Here we go, baby! Cabbage! Here we go, we got the 80 easy caskets collected. We currently have, as a reminder, 110 lock slots in 920 easy clues. Mainly looking for the Team Cape X and the Monk's Row Bottom G, I suppose, as the rare ones. But it's alright if we get one of the others. Uh, do I actually have a Master Clue in the bank? I don't think so. No, we're good on that. We are good on that. Here we go. Hey, we have a master clue! Only 22? 22 easy clues and we get a master clue. Let's hopefully be able to do this one, because there's two steps we can't do now with the new Fortis one, so hopefully we don't get that. Okay, master casket obtained. Time to open 58 more easy ones. Come on. 
come on, man. Surely I'll... Wait, hang on. Surely I'll get, like, at least one lock slot from this, right? I'm actually gonna be upset if I don't get anything. Hey, there we go. Bandos rope top. Okay, we got something. We got something. That is a good start. I mean, we're over halfway. Hopefully we'll get at least one more. But there's one new lock slot already. Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. They're coming in. Staff of Bob the Cat. That's a pretty cool one, actually. I like that one. The final two. No! Only two lock slots, but we are at... Uh, 1,000 easy clues opened in total now. I guess I'll take it, but we still have a master casket. We gained two easy lock slots, but we could gain a master lock slot. 17 out of 49. And that is a pile of trash with a duplicate, unfortunate. Oh well, not too bad. I'm happy with that. 1,000 easy clues, nice little milestone. We'll take that. The plan right now is to go kill some sulfur nagua so I can go and pick up those sulfur blades, which is a new item on the slayer log slot the sulfur blades one in 500 i believe but it should be pretty chill because it's inside of perilous moons and you can just use the potions inside and the the mods to sustain your prayer and stuff so we don't really need supplies for this we should be able to just camp them out until we get this absolutely no way what <laughs> i just killed 16 of these well that's that grind over and done with i suppose lovely let's leave See what they look like. They're kind of small. I feel like it would have been cooler if they were like bigger blades, but apparently decent mid-level weapon for inside of Perilous Moons. It's like similar to a Dragon Simi, but you deal a bit of extra damage in here. Probably something we will never use, but now that we're here, I guess I may as well do some more Perilous Moons. So I'm just gonna go until 100 KC now and see if we get some more log slots, because so far we only got two uniques. Surely we'll get at least like three more, right? Be like halfway done with the log. Actually, if we look at it, if I complete the Sulfur Blades first, which puts us back at 100% easy, I suppose. How many tasks did I have left in Medium for the Moons of Peril? Okay, there's one more here, and then Hard has like six or something. I'm not gonna go for all of them at once, but... Yeah, so there's six uniques in Hard, and then three more Hunter Guild uniques here as well. Okay, we'll just go to 100kc, see what happens, probably do some more hunting rumors afterwards as well. I think my go-to AFK activity for now while playing on the side or doing something else is gonna be chopping redwoods and working my way up to 99 woodcutting as well. So I just made a bunch of forester rations which should last me long enough to get to 99 with all of these. So that should be nice. Let's get some woodcutting XP on the way as well. Hey, just got an elite clueness, so I guess I may as well go and do that one. Huge moment. 96 woodcutting! Woo! Look at that! Yay! I am absolutely loving doing these tree runs. It makes farming fun to me. Getting all these big XP drops, not having to deal with the stupid herbs and stuff. We are gunning for 99 farming ASAP. And there's level 94 already. Five more to go. Let's go. Another woodcutting level. Dude, this is going so fast. I love this. I'm gonna be max in no time, man. I'm actually really enjoying just killing on the side while playing my other account. Just chopping some redwoods, doing some farm runs. We're making gains. 97 woodcutting. Only two more levels until the next 99 and something tells me that that's gonna happen this week. I love my daily farm runs. I'm actually really enjoying this kill. There's 95 farming. Not just four more levels to go. I do believe I'm gonna run out of coconuts very soon though. I'm not gonna make it all the way, but I guess we can afford to lose some saplings along the way as well. Ooh, we get a baguette from the sandwich lady. Please, please. Never lucky, man. Come on, one day we'll get it. One day. Look at the evil chicken chopping away. Here it comes. There it is, 98 woodcutting. Just one more level to go, but tomorrow we're gonna actively play the account a bit. We're gonna do some more Perilous Moons and some Hunter Rumors. Alright, here we are, Perilous Moons. 60 KC right now, let's get this to 100 real quick. Hopefully some more clogs as well. Two unique so far in 60. Okay, we're 80 chests in. I should have like four uniques and I'm still only at two. Hopefully by the time we hit 100, we get something worthwhile. Yo, 35 million strength XP. Look at that, we're so strong. Whoa. 
All right, now this is gonna be chest number 100 and I still haven't had a new item. I'm still only at two items on the log. So I did say I was gonna do this until 100, but considering I haven't had anything, I'm probably gonna stay a bit longer. Do we get anything from chest number 100? No, we do not. Yeah, we're gonna keep trucking through for a bit longer. I should have five items, I only have two, that's not right. Oh, thank god! <laughs> We get something! The Blood Moon Tacits. Yippee! 116 Lunar Chests. At this point, I want to continue a bit more, though. I want to get, like, one more item. So it was worth my time here. But there's the Blood Moon Tacits. Nice. Let's bang that. Hey! Let's go, dude. Finally! We're catching up. There's the Eclipse Moon Chestplate. Lovely. We now have four. We're still due to... But we're slowly catching up. That's nice. Alright, this is going to be the last lunar chest for a bit. Number 150 in total. Just did a session of 9 hours doing 90 chests, basically. Still only at 4 items. And we're not making it 5 either, unfortunately. Still pretty dry here. We should be at like 7.5 items and we only have 4. But it is what it is. We'll come back at a later date. We're gonna do some more hunter rumors now. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I should probably mark the tasks as completed as well, just to keep track, you know. We have two more uniques that we obtained this time around, so we can mark one in the medium tier, which is gonna complete medium again. And we can scroll all the way down on hard and mark one of those done as well. There we go, one unique from Moons of Peril. There's still... wait, is that five? Yeah, five more in the hard tier. And then three Hunter Guild Uniques as well. And let's start working on one of those. Oh, the final Dragon Fruit Tree of the farm run. And there's another level. 96 farming. I did run out of coconut, so I'm just composting these, hoping for the best. But I have so many saplings that it doesn't really matter. I'll get to 99 easily anyways. Alright, back at the Hunter's Guild. Let's start some rumors. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna do this, but... Might just keep going until I get the full outfit if I'm feeling it. Probably get a few more hunter levels as well along the way. Oh damn, there it is. Crept up on me. I didn't realize I was going to get it from handing in this uh, rumor. But 94 hunter has been achieved. 90 rumors in total now. Hopefully we'll get that second piece of the outfit soon. Getting some good XP rate right now. Over two hours, like two and a half hours into it right now. 170,000 hunter XP per hour. I'd say that's pretty decent. Okay, we've made it to a hundred hunter rumors done in total. We have seven sacks to open. We're definitely guaranteed to get our upgraded whistle from the 100, so that's nice. But maybe we'll get something else. Let's see. Oh, there's the uh, there's the blueprint. Okay, <laughs> I need to make that. What is it? One set of U logs. Let me do that real quick. Wait, does that mean I got it before the 100, or are you are you supposed to get it on the first sack you open when you have a hundred? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. But there we have it. Enhanced Quetzal Whistle. That's nice. Anything else? Can we get the second piece of the outfit? Doesn't look like it. We'll just keep trucking through for a bit more. So now this whistle is up to 20 charges when fully charged. That's pretty nice. It's gonna be a lot nicer than having only five, having to recharge it every single time. I turned in the elite clue that I got from the Redwoods together with the lower level clues as well. And we got a master clue. So let's see if we get anything from that casket real quick. Absolute dog shit, as per usual. Love to see it. 86 masters now. We're getting closer to that 100 milestone. It's gonna be a nice one to get as well. Back to the Redwoods. Almost 99 woodcutting. The final log. Until we never log again. I mean, I will. I'll go for a beaver at some point. But there's 99 woodcutting. Yay! The AF gang is paying off. 99 woodcutting achieved. We are done chopping Redwoods for now. I have another master clue lined up, so I'll probably do that one as well. But next up, as far as AFK activities go, I'll start doing some star mining, I think. Something I haven't really done yet as an AFK mining activity. Because I want to unlock amethyst so I can make some amethyst arrows and whatnot. I think that's going to be useful in the future. So while I'm playing the other accounts, it's going to be some mining for me now. Look at this guy, he's so ready to mine some stars. What level is it for Amethyst? 92. So I'll definitely be mining stars till 92, then maybe I'll just mine Amethyst for a while as well. But let's give it a crack. Hopefully we'll get a bunch of gems as well to get some crafting XP in the bank along the way.